People are moving and shaking, folks. People are moving and shaking. We got a curb alert. What is it? Oh, we got some speakers, baby. Some Sanyos. What's that? Like a... Yeah, fan. Oh, it's a humidifier. Nice. Definitely not free, but pretty sweet. They put two scooters by their garage. They better be very careful about that. Definitely would uh, not do that personally. Reason why is because this is a very, very safe neighborhood. But uh, even if you're running upstairs to grab a soda, go to the bathroom, I mean, all it takes is 30 seconds and like over a thousand dollars worth of scooters and helmets are gone and it's just it's not worth it. it's not worth it. it's unfortunate that stuff like that happens but i've heard of stuff going down in this very very safe community i'm in without revealing what it is and i've heard stories before so you just don't want to put that temptation out for a theft thief 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 theft i think we definitely need to grab it a lego figurine and bookshelf speakers and something else. gentlemen we grabbed a couple of the toys here and some stuffed animals for dog toys now let me show you this real briefly you're like chris why in the world would you grab a cool lego bank well why wouldn't you all right now is the question of the hour i don't know if it's real i don't know if it's fake but i think there's money inside so I need to pull this off and uh, maybe this head comes apart. I'm not sure, but I think that's real money in there. So let's see what it is. No, it's play money that looks like real money and it's stuck in there pretty good. I'm gonna have to use like a uh, letter opener and shove it down there to get it out. There might be a one real bill in there somewhere, but I wouldn't count on it. Anyway, I think that's gonna be cool for behind the office goals for my desk setup in house goals, which I know I've been hyping it, I've been hyping it, I've been hyping it, but it's gonna be close, it's close, it's close. It's a done deal, thank you Jesus. We're just waiting on the main event. gentlemen we had some women's clothes in the white bag and we also had some slats that were ikea uh something right here as well let me just creep on it real quick kind of looks like some junky wood for some oddball reason that's kind of weird some like scrap pink wood some bedding pieces nothing to call home to mom about so we're gonna go ahead and push on So right as I entered into that area, a guy actually cruised in, threw away something, and I'm not really sure where he went. There is a car back there. He might have tried to gone in, scoped out the area carpet rug himself. I don't know. Probably not, though. Now, with that said, the area carpet rug was the exact same pattern or similar almost to the dot of the one we have already found, which uh, was actually in really good condition. Now, with that said, I believe leave it's a generic johnny costco area carpet rug still probably pretty expensive there was also some other action behind there and i was trying to slow roll it there was also a black
black bag. I kind of wanted to scope out. I heard some voices. I was like, you know what? I already got it. If they're trying to skedaddle and try to get some action there, and there's like a little luggage bag inside the canister right there. Don't necessarily need a small luggage bag. We got a lot more diving to do, so let's just go ahead and press on. Sky's the limit. and gentlemen that uh, was definitely some iron work some metal work it almost looked like a outdoor patio uh shade system slash something or other i'm not exactly sure so a little bit hard to tell but definitely uh some pieced together metal there with some flap downs not to mention a uh, very nice restorable piece that you could probably restore that uh, nice wooden uh, circular table and the uh, very nice wooden chair as well. All right, I don't think I'm gonna take a parking spot, but there are a ton of these plastic tubs we could use for action. Some sort of Darth Vader case sitting on the half wall. Uh, unfortunately, I thought those were gonna be higher up, uh, like milk carton uh, type of plastic things. They were kind of a little bit too low profile for me, so I decided to skip out on those. I was gonna, I was going to grab a couple of those for um, moving boxes, Goodwill boxes, uh, plastic things. You could scoot around pretty easily, but uh, decided not to instead. Also, if Uncle Phil was with me, Uncle Phil would have grabbed that three wheel scooter for kids. I think those flip for about 40 bucks. All right, a little bit of action over here, a little cookware. Let's see what we got here. We got ourselves uh, a couch with a cover, an old crock pot, and then let's run up here. Hopefully no one pops out of the aisle away from the pool. And then a little cat or dog thingamabobber. All right, so I actually just passed by. The one guy that was giving away all that stuff, I was able to grab the Jordans from. Uncle Phil was able to grab all the Christmas decorations. So his place is completely vacated. They have given everything away and sold everything they needed to sell. Probably threw away some stuff without me looking. And the maintenance guys were cleaning the place. The garage door was open and absolutely nothing was there, meaning that it has been gutted and they are preparing it for the next renters. With that said, I believe we struck while the iron was hot and thank you Lord for the blessings and sir, if you ever watch this, thank you. I'm pretty sure both those covers come off and those are washable. And I think those will be stunning pieces for an outdoor pool area. Soft cloth. We're gonna hit this from a double take here. Anyway, lounge chairs for your balcony and pool. Definitely some nice pieces. All right, we're looking at, uh, oh, a big Ikea square bookshelf. We'll hit that from a double angle there. People are moving and shaking, folks. People are moving and shaking.
Alrighty guys, so we saw some action. Well, good news, we grabbed that blue bucket. My dad needs to recycle oil, and that's gonna handle quite a bit. We'll put like a makeshift duct tape uh, seal on the top, take that to the hazardous waste area, recyclable area. So, I found an awesome pair of 10 and a half Adidas running shoes. I only found one, I jumped up on the half wall to grab the bucket, I saw one shoe, jumped back up to look again. There was like a McLean power juicer, a black color one those do sell i didn't take it i looked in the box where the shoe was i didn't see it i dug around for a few more minutes unfortunately could not find the other shoe they were in great condition adidas running shoes they weren't the ultra boosts or anything like that but i definitely am in store for a new pair i've really ruffled mine up I need to put them in the wash and then, you know, they're gonna be looking a little bit better. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.